It's hard to believe that this day has finally arrived. Who would have imagined after meeting on the campus of Grambling State University that we would arrive here, joining together as husband and wife and for all God has in store. Centuria, when I ask you what is it about Christopher that helps you to know that he's the man that you that God sent you in your life, you said these words. You said he loves me, you said he loves God, you said he respects me. He's understanding and has a level headedness. He's determined, he's responsible and kind hearted. And then you said God placed him in your life, especially for you and for your daughter. Chris, when I ask you what is it about Centuria that helps you to know that she is the one that God sent specifically for you. You said, she loves me, she allows me to be myself. She is very caring and helps me to be a better man. And she allows me to share my true thoughts, my feelings, my goals without judging me. The scriptures reveal to us in Genesis chapter two that God is the one that created marriage. That God would create it in Genesis chapter two, verses 24 and 25. And there he would say these words, for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked and felt no shame. There are three real powerful principles I want to remind you of as you prepare for this for the rest of your life. The first thing the text says is to leave. It says they leave mother and father. It means that now your lives are about to be totally rearranged. You're thankful for family and for friends but now you are next to the most important person in your entire world. The first person says leave every other relationship and connect and make sure that you allow your husband and wife to be the priority over everything else. More important than your job, more important than your friends, more important than family. You are now next to the most important person in your life, leave. But then the text says also cleave. And the Hebrew word really means to stick like glue. It means to stick together. It means to come together. It means, Chris, everything you did to get Centauri, you got to do it the rest of your life. You have to continue to pursue her. You have to continue to love her. You have to continue to romance her. She deserves the very best that you can give her. And may you pursue her with all that God has given you. Be the husband. The scripture says this, you got to love your wife sacrificially. That is the way God is called. Centauri is important for you to also understand the number one respect, number one need for every man is respect. The scriptures say submit, it really means to surrender, it really means to line up under your husband's leadership. He needs your prayers, he needs your support, he needs your care, every day of Lead, clean, and finally receive. There's nothing more powerful than to have somebody that will love you for you. The scripture says they were naked and unashamed, which meant that God sent them exactly what they needed. Santoria, God knew exactly what you needed. Chris, he knew exactly what you needed when he sent you into each other's lives. It's not your job to try and make someone into something else, but instead to accept them, love them, cherish them as a gift from God. I'm going to ask the two of you now to please join hands and face each other. I want to ask you to please repeat these vows after me to your pride. I, Christopher, I, Christopher, joyfully receive you, Santori. Joyfully receive you, Santori. As God's perfect gift for me. As God's perfect gift for me. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For rich or for poor. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Love you. To love you. Honor you, honor you, cherish you, cherish you, and to protect you, and to protect you, forsaking all of them, forsaking all of them.